Hey everybody, this is Ben Schaap with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for coming back. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to... This is going to be the last tutorial with the uh, covering the Navi module, and we are covering the custom breadcrumbs function now. And this is a tag pair just like the Navi uh, Nav custom pair. So let's go ahead and dig into this a little bit. So here we go. I'm going to put this in the snippet. Um, so this was the old one. Um, I kind of like how we were not showing it on the home page, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better. So, okay. This is a tag pair, and so we're going to say nav, uh, no, <laughs> expression engine, nav e, and the tag for this, I believe, custom crumbs. And I am. I'm uh, going to pass it the nav title of main nav. Um, if you don't, actually this is this is optional. If you don't, it's going to like go through all your navs and try to locate the right one. But um, I only have one nav, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell it. And so let's go ahead and close this before we forget. Just like anything else, any other tag pairs is just... Um, close slash and what we're gonna oops, what we're gonna do here uh, is um, this is gonna be a link and again this is just an expression engine um, or this is just a navi um, tag and so we're gonna do the link link and then we're gonna have the text and we're gonna close the link and well, let's just start with that and see what happens. So I'm gonna hit update and refresh. And here we go. I'm on I'm on my page, right? Ben Schaff, what Ben is a web developer, very true. Um, and so right, we're this is this is the nav right here. Or not the nav, but I'm sorry, the custom breadcrumb. So we're just seeing oh yeah, inside of a UL, we're seeing just two anchor tags just floating around here. So let's clean this up a little bit. So, right, um, what is it? I'm kind of forgetting now. Wrap, wrap type is none. By default, it's a UL. That's why we saw that there. So wrap type, we're going to say none. Uh, and then let's just update that and see how we're doing. Cool. So now we just have two anchor tags just floating out here. That's better. I mean, they could be a list item if you want or, or not, and not. It sort of depends. Like, sometimes it's just easier to do something like this. Like, maybe maybe it's a paragraph or something that has an ID of, I mean, you know, do whatever do whatever you want. But, I mean, it, it sort of is a nav in a way, so maybe you want to wrap it in a nav tag. I'm not really sure what the, what the best way is. So, you know, fortunately for us, this module is really customizable and you can output it any way you want. Um, so now this is going to be wrapped in a P tag, just a couple of anchors, and that's fine. Um, but still this is not really the hot setup, you know, this is actually no different than what it was just a second ago. Um, so let's do this. Let's take this to uh, the next level here. And what you can do is um, I'm going to uh, have a spacer between my um, tags. So um, I'm, just, I'm gonna have to actually be a right arrow quote, which, yeah. If, you, um, if you're on a Mac, this is just uh, an HTML entities widget that you can pick up. If you're not, um, you'll, you'll just have to learn what, <laughs> what these are, I always forget. Ah, okay, yeah, I had it backwards earlier. All right, so now let's check this out. Oh, whoops. If I refresh, actually, we're not going to see any different because I actually didn't tell it where to put the spacer. So we're going to have to put the spacer right here. Let's hit update. And refresh. Cool. So this is starting to look like a breadcrumb, but maybe it should have a, maybe it should have a, you know, like a space before and maybe a space after. 
Oh, you know what? It looks like it might trim the the leading space. That's okay. So this so there could just be padding on this, right? So we're not going to we're not going to sweat that too much. But what is ugly about this and something that we are going to fix up is we don't really want this right arrow quote um, after the last one and because the guys at Buoyant are so freaking smart um, we can they have a tag that we can pass it so we're just gonna do that and this is called like no last spacer I think um, and we're just gonna set it to true let's try this I'm kinda don't remember um, yeah cool alright there you go so we have um, no you know right arrow afterwards uh, so this looks like a nav that is ready for some CSS, or not, I'm sorry, man, uh, bread, breadcrumb that's ready for, for some CSS. Um, and, you know, that's all we're going to do for today. So we have the about. Um, it, it's the last one, so it doesn't have, you know, the arrows. Um, if you want, you know, you could, you could obviously, because you can put anything you want before this, you could have, like, you are here. Oops. Yeah, you are here about, you're here, yeah, there you go, cool. So there you have it, breadcrumbs using Navi, um, using Navi's custom crumbs um, tag pair. Thanks a lot for watching. In the next tutorial, um, boy, I'm not really sure what we're going to cover, but I'm sure I'll think of something, and it's going to be great. Um, so um, please subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us at LevelUpTuts on Twitter, and check out our website at leveluptuts.com.